So I'll be showing you how to add or how to set up an eSIM on your iPhone 15 or iPhone 15 Pro. Now, depending on what carrier you're using, there are different methods of uh, setting up your eSIM, slightly different, but all of them require you to download the eSIM software onto the iPhone. So that means first you need an internet connection. So go ahead and connect your iPhone to a Wi-Fi network. And then now you're ready. Now, my own provider gives me this little piece of paper with a QR code that I need to scan. I'm hiding the QR code behind this little piece of paper so you guys don't scan it. But this is the QR code. As soon as I scan the QR code, it's going to download my eSIM onto the phone. Now, other carriers might use a website. You might be told to go to a certain website and maybe even log in and then download the eSIM onto your phone. Whichever way, this is how to do it. So go to settings. On the main settings page, go to mobile service or cellular data. And then here in the list of SIMs, let's go ahead and tap on add eSIM. And then it's going to uh, do some work. And then we're going to set up mobile service, okay? So you can either transfer from a nearby iPhone or use a QR code. Now, since I'm setting up an eSIM afresh, I'm going to use the QR code. And now it launches the QR code scanner for the eSIM. And now all I have to do is scan this QR code, which obviously I'll do uh, with the camera disabled. So I've just scanned the QR code and this is a, the uh, screen I see. So it says an eSIM from my provider, Safaricom is ready to be activated on this iPhone. Okay, so I'll tap on continue. And it says activating. Now it's connected to network and it's now activated. I can see uh, a phone number there the eSIM is locked so it's gonna ask me to enter the pin so I'll tap on that and of course I have the pin number here okay once you enter the SIM pin just tap OK and there you go so mobile plan setup is complete tap on done and as you can see I have two SIM cards all right so I have the default line. So I can use this as the default line or the mobile data line. Okay. I can customize that later as well. Mobile data, I want it on uh, the primary line as well. Tap OK. Let's update that later. Update contacts on preferred line. Update later. Continue. Now, once we finish with all that, you'll notice that we now have two SIM cards. When you scroll down, you can actually see we have two different networks for the two different SIM cards. We go to settings, mobile service. You can see I have my primary SIM card and my secondary SIM card which I had previously renamed to mobile data, but it's actually the secondary SIM card, okay? So this is my physical SIM, the one I had previously, and this is a, the secondary SIM is the eSIM we have just activated. That's basically how to set up an eSIM, or how to add an eSIM to your iPhone 15 or iPhone 15 Pro. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below, and good luck.